Okay, one of the body awareness exercises we use is the mat, and you've already seen how keen Rowan is to stand on it. So these are just kids' play mats from Ikea. Now, standing on a soft surface is so good for all those little stabilizing muscles. And you'll find that some horses find it really difficult, especially if they've got issues in their pelvis or their, um, or their in their hips or their stifles. And so it's really important just to start off really small. So with this, we begin just with them nice and flat and big. And you can see she's kind of preferring to leave her foot on the ground. Can we bring that one forwards? There. There we go. Good. And then just to breathe again so it doesn't become frantic paddling, just softly. There we go. Just stand. Nice. Rowan's a very busy forwards little pony, so she would have to work a lot on, as you can see, slowing her down. That's awesome. All right. Can you walk on? Brilliant. And then you can start to, oh. <laughs> yeah, I know, <laughs> super keen. Come back. Double them up. So once they're a little bit, yeah thicker then it becomes a little bit harder and again softly and of course there's a despooking element to these as well good forwards yeah that's hard can we get the hind feet on there yes brill forwards yeah Rowan you can see how she's really thinking about the placement of those feet it's fantastic that's so good and walk off before it becomes too much very good. Definitely a despooking element. That was awesome. That was awesome. Are we happy to go back on still? Nice. Oh my gosh. So even not that long ago, Rowan would have absolutely freaked at this. This is awesome, awesome, awesome improvement. Really nice. Now taking some of those uh, same lessons into the, the pedestal. Now I like to work with a low pedestal because again, actually I want them to realize that it's no big deal if they fall off. It's a really key piece of body awareness, or feet awareness especially. Nice. So once you've done front feet, you can do four feet. We come forwards. And all of these exercises, good. <sighs> Breathe. I'm looking to be slow and considered. Awesome. Awesome, Ro. So that it's not a big rush, which is often toning down Rowan's enthusiasm because she is forwards, she is very keen. Good. So it's just going, can we stop and breathe? You're so, so cute. There you go. So you can see we've done it a little bit at a time. You can also play with, can we go back? So you'll build up to all of these very gradually. I just want to give you a bit of a flavor. Nice. So good. Come this way. And as you can see, again, you've got lots of enthusiasm and joy from the horses, which is exactly what we're looking for. That was awesome. Stand. They should find it just as fun as you do. Yeah, now backing off it was quite a big deal for Rowan when we first started. That was so good. Can you come forwards? Yeah. All right, can you back on? This is hard. Yeah, of course you can. Check you out. That was amazing. So again, of course she's done some of these before, but you can just see, we haven't done much of the backing on. Can you go back? No, so there's a little hint of, good girl, we have done that one before. Good girl, there's a little hint of um, some of her feet anxiety. Good job. Should we try again? Nice, very good. So good, and we have worked a lot on helping her overcome it. Yay, very clever. Good job. Oh, I know. Fabulous. There we go. Come this way. Good. So I'm not going to ask her to back onto it today. I'm just going to see if we can come. You're all right. Come forwards off it slowly. And then she does this freeze. Just touch this freeze thing, where which often precedes a spook. 
And so what I've been working on is a bit of impulse control at that freeze moment of can she offer an alternative behavior? So the next step she was anticipating to be scary. So all I did was just go and stand with her, breathe, stroke it, and ask her just to touch the target stationary a couple of times to see if that, yes, good. If we could get that calm step off, really good. So there's loads of different elements that come into play. I didn't actually expect to be getting onto this despooking work, but it is often part of it with the object work. And the more that they feel in control of their bodies, the more relaxed they are generally. So one of the big fears for Rowan when we were, especially if we were out or when, we was, when she was carrying um, a rider um, or we were, she was working at higher paces was if that she did start to lose her balance or it was like an uneven ground that she started to get, um, that would increase her anxiety. And this work helps them to feel more confident, more control of their body and therefore more relaxed generally as well. So it's got so many benefits as well as helping them to become more, you know, even and supple and, and to move better as well. Oh, thank you. I'm getting a nice groom back. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and you could see some of the work that I've been doing with Rowan, um, including some of them, those kind of messy moments when she does get a little bit worried. So if you'd like to find out more about my approach, then please check out the Connection Training Club, which is our online membership site. We have so many in-depth videos of um, how to use the training in very deep and step-by-step -step ways with lots of different horses. We've got how to get started handling healthcare, despooking um, and actually in the despooking course there's um we're talking about like mats and pedestals standing on things even starting some exercises with a tarp looking at the despooking um process how you work at the horse's threshold with the horse's um willingness and where the horse is able to um work through their anxiety themselves and with you without feel feeling that you have to um, pressure them into it um, and that's the same with the archway as well it's another obstacle that's really helpful for building that confidence and um, in the jumping and obstacle training course we've got a, a, a lot of different um, obstacles and jumps on using building um, body awareness and things as well so there's always often a, a not for all horses but there is often a despooking element as you build the body awareness and um, often the more body awareness the horse has, the more confident they are as well. You can also find that in our gymnastic groundwork course where we have loads of information about how horses move, understanding their um, the body and mind connection. So looking at a relaxed, happy mind and a relaxed, healthy movement and how they work together. Building those right up from basics of leading and progressing from there. Um, where you can see again looking using objects like boards and mats and and pedestals to really start to build um, much more body awareness and confidence with where their feet are standing on different surfaces stepping on and off that kind of thing too um, and that goes right up to there's a, a more advanced one where you can see exactly how I trained Rowan with it including the more complex um exercises so like smaller pedestals but then also with the uh, backing on and off the pedestal and how i built that with rowan and you can see the finished product here where she's very happy to back all the way onto it without the spooks that you saw in the video so there's loads of stuff there and um, lots and lots of information and you get instant access to all of the courses and all of the videos as soon as you join first month is half price and it's um you can cancel any time from within your account so it you can come and give it a go, see if it's for you, just come and check it out. It's really um, easy for you just to have a, have a good look and see if it's going to be the right place for you. You can also get loads of support through our forum, through the coaching study groups, you can join us in Q&As um, and join our super group of members as well. If you want to find out more, go to connectiontraining.com. You can find out more about myself, our approach, more about the CT club and sign up there. And you can also head over to Amazon to check out our best-selling book. Just go to to Amazon and search for connection training and it'll pop up. It's available in paperback and ebook format. Um, and that gives, a, again, a lot more information about our approach, training principles, and a lot of practical tips as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.